this is really uh this is really something about a year later and i'm back well at least with kenzie then dip me underway What's up everybody? My name is Natalia. If you are new here, if you are not new here, welcome back. I really hope this is focused because I cannot see. So yeah, let me put on my new glasses because if you have not watched the video, please pause right here and go straight to the video. Thank you very much. That's better. No, for real, because I can't see. I feel like I can see in 5K now. But anyway, as you have read by the title, I am updating y'all on my Kenzie experience. While I update y'all, I'm gonna be lasering, actually. So, have I been continuous with it? No, of course not. That's really why I haven't filmed it. Well. No, that's part of it. Also is because I always have technical difficulties. I think I'm under control of it now. But before, child, it was so bad. Here we go, I'm very ashy. I showered over an hour ago and I wanted to make sure my skin was completely dry and also I did my makeup in between, so. Also, if you did not watch the previous videos on Kenzie, pause again, watch and watch. Please and thank you. I'm gonna turn it on, you just, Tear it on and then I'm gonna put it to two. I need glasses to like cover myself. What not better than Natalia Taylor New York? Duh. Period. Y'all about to be like, Natalia, are you really about to be talking to us like that? Yes. Yes, I am about to be talking to y'all like this. This is how we pull up to our remote laser appointments. Period. I basically was consistent with it and then I just stopped because I was really tired of shaving every single week and that is very extremely dreadful for me so I was good on it. I was really 100% good on it and I was waxing for a few months. Not my legs, just you know private areas. It was fine but then I just decided to give it one more try. Like that's really why I'm using it again. Yeah. It's not much to it. I have seen though a lot of people's bad reviews on them and I'm like wow like I personally have an ex- I'm not my broken nail okay? But I personally haven't had an experience like that. I don't know. It just really depends on the specific person. That's why I was saying make sure that you do your own research because you just never know what these new devices are going to entail and really have. And Kenzie like I said is really personal and when I say that it's more so lack of a better term because like on the back of the box like I explained in the first very first video there's a diagram that diagram basically shows I guess the recommended skin color why the recommended skin color because this device detects the hair by the color of the hair now if the hair is the same color as the skin then it's not really going to detect it so if the skin is too fair along with blonde hair it's not going to be able to be detected or if the skin is very dark very melanated and the hair is very dark it's not going to be able to be detected so just make sure that you do your research on that this whole process usually takes me about 20 to 30 minutes 15 to 20 minutes maybe if i'm taking my time 20 to 30 minutes but i could definitely get it done in 15 for sure how often do i use the kenzie so i like to shave once a week well i don't like to shave once a week however i shave once a week and i'll make sure that i use the kenzie either that same day or the next day tops like within the same 24 hours before the hair has a chance to even think to go back because i don't know if you heard but i am an aspiring aspiring hairless cat okay i'm not playing i'm really not this is really a, this is really something i hope they don't demonetize me i have shorts on relax i'm doing my arms now stung a little bit i'm gonna do the rest off camera a few moments later so i practically finished but one security tip it blinks 
red. I think that's when it's just, you need to take a break, so I'm actually done. It was two years ago? Oh my gosh. Before I actually make the actual video for the routine, I can actually voice it because I don't really like my bathroom. So it's kind of hard to <laughs> make it look aesthetic aesthetically pleasing. Like I need it to look aesthetically pleasing. Pretty much what I do is shower like regular, make sure my skin is clean, and then I shave. I usually use a conditioner or a shaving cream, whatever is available at the time. Then I'll shave, make sure that it is a clean, fresh razor, nothing that is dull and old. That's just gonna do bad to your skin. You know what? I'm gonna just, I'm gonna just, I'm gonna just save the. I'm gonna make it a separate video for you. I gotcha. If you're thinking of getting Mackenzie, I say get it. Like, of course, get it, try it out. Just make sure that you do your research. Like, that's all I'm gonna say. As for Kenzie, this is the fourth video here, okay? My audience loves these videos, so I'm gonna keep doing it for them. However, y'all, y'all need to sponsor me. I don't know what's taking us so long, okay? But, you know business email is in the description box okay, so after i am finished lasering i actually like to moisturize right now i'm just gonna use some regular regular body cream if anyone would like to know the direction in which i start or i, I lotion i start from my feet because if you need to walk around your feet will be dry like you won't be slipping around everywhere fun tip then I do my calves and then my thighs, then I just keep moving on up. So my whole body is lotion. It's weird though because showering, I start from my left arm and go and then go further. It's funny how that works. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the update. Stay tuned for the laser routine as it is coming soon. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and you will see me in the next video.